this season two, we're seeing you really have a lot to play with. You're at the, you know, you're at the core of, of so much of the story because you're dealing with the real world topics. So you are actually the guy who's been ringing the alarm saying, no, COVID is a real deal. It's a real danger to us. You actually went to Wuhan in the show. You barely got out before it closed, uh, before, you know, the, the borders were shut. Um, also, you're dealing with systemic racism, racism in the workplace, being the black guy on this very white news show that's trying to do diversity in that way that most places try to do. They give you a bunch of white women. They give you one Latino and they give you one black and you're that guy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So how much did you connect with that story? Because I connected with it from being, you know, formerly in the corporate America. I really, really connected with that. Well, you know, I deeply connect with it because, you know, especially coming out of uh, COVID, you know, it was, you know, for I think for for people of color, it was traumatizing on multiple levels. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, black communities being impacted by COVID. Um, you know, when even in the first season, Daniel's talk about representation yes. and, you know, during during COVID, I know for me, I I felt I have to re, I had to realign my connection with America. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I am so fortunate that, you know, we started to take up this mantle to have more conversations and talk about it on the show, because I feel like especially on this very white show and if we're talking about COVID if we're not talking about what was happening in terms of like racial equality, then, you know, I don't think we're doing our job at all. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And so, you know, you mentioned that Jennifer Aniston and Reese Riverspoon are both um, executive producers on that. Um, When you guys are like, you know, uh, going over the scenes and, and, you know, doing table reads and everything, um, what was it like to be with them in the room and having these tough conversations, even though it's the character, but still it's real life. I would have to believe there's some visceral reactions to it. What was it like being in the room, having those table reads and having to have those tough kind of conversations? Well, you know, the person that I would talk to the most is Carrie Aaron, who is the the showrunner. Um, mm-hmm. So she's, and Carrie's really great. Um, Carrie's an, an amazing ally. Um, you know, the other black actress on the show who I love. We have a very close relationship, um, Karen Pittman. Karen. And she's a tour of the yeah, force. I love Karen Pittman. She's amazing. She's amazing. Yeah. Um, and so what what happened this season is that, you know, Carrie was, you know, she's real deal in the sense that she let us know what she wanted to talk about, where she wanted to go. And, you know, she would send us drafts of things. You know, it wasn't one of those situations where it's like, this is what you do. She got our voices in there, you know, and we did a, we, we did rewrites on a couple things. Um, we, you know, we talked about the nuances of it because she, you know, she came to us and she said, I want this to feel authentic and representative. And, you know, some of the things that we came with is that you even see that Daniel and Mia, the, the two black characters on the show, they don't always agree, which yes. we thought was important because, you know, black folks don't all have, it's not like we're all monolithic. And so to right. show that differences within them, those are, you know, some of the nuances and things that we, we developed throughout the season. 